I'm currently in a Honda Accord and I've got the VSA and the exclamation mark with triangle warning light on that's the vehicle stability warning light and in this video I'm going to show you how you reset that if you have it on in your Honda So just to give you some context before we go into the uh, reset procedure that I used here, I have a snap-on scan tool and a Carmen scan uh, tool as well, and neither of those were useful in resetting the VSA or that exclamation warning light on the dash. None of them could do it, and the warning lights I know came on because of a full system scan using a snap-on tool. It wasn't brought on by any fault in the system, the light wasn't on before that scan was done and it just triggered it and then it would not remove afterwards. So when that happened I was brought in to try and use this method to knock that light off. Okay, so this is a two-step procedure that you have to use when uh, resetting this and it includes the ABS reset as well. Even though the ABS warning light wasn't on the dash in mind, you still have to use a two-step procedure for this. I tried to skip uh, the ABS uh, reset and just go for the VSA and it didn't work for me, so I recommend just using the full process when resetting. Okay, so firstly, you're going to need to locate the pins that you want to join, and it is pin number four and pin number nine. And in this diagram, you can see which pins that I'm talking about. You can use a paper clip, you can use a jumper wire, anything at all just to join those pins across. So once you have those pins joined, you monitor the ABS light on the dash. You will then hold the brake pedal down firstly and turn the ignition on. Once you have the ignition turned on, the ABS light will come on and after it turns off, remove your foot off the brake pedal. The ABS light will then come back on. You press the brake pedal down and wait for the ABS light to go out. Then release your foot off the brake pedal and the ABS light should blink twice to confirm the reset has been done. Once you have the ABS um, reset you can then go on to resetting the VSA so for the VSA reset we're going to be using the VSA uh, reset button which is the VSA off button on the side of the dash you're going to be grounding pin 9 now you take out the jumper cable that you had and you just use pin 9 and you earth it so what anything um, that's solid on the body that will give you a good earth is fine and I just used um, an area where the check strap is to ground mine again you're going to be watching the ABS light but you're not going to be doing anything with the foot brake this time so you have a ground you switch the ignition on you will see the ABS light go off, then you press the VSA off button. The ABS light should come back on. Again, you press the VSA button and it's reset. And you should, all your warning lights should be off if you follow that two-step procedure. This isn't something that I thought I would have to do, but it was the only way I was able to get these lights off in the workshop. So if you have those lights on and you certainly know that there's no faults in the system, I would highly advise using this method to reset them. And that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.